A jade board. A spoonful of malt syrup. Then a set of skillful moves. Turns the sticky substance into a lifelike animal. Sugar painting is one of the most popular forms of folk art in China during the Spring Festival, an example of intangible cultural heritage with a history of more than 500 years. And Li Guanghui comes from a line of the craftsmen with hands of magic. My grandfather was the first one in my family making sugar paintings, and I'm the third generation. I became interested in making them since I was little because they're so cute in shape and sweet in flavor. I started learning it when I was young and have been making them ever since. Li says making perfect sugar paintings requires years of practice. The temperature of the syrup needs to be controlled well to ensure the right color and consistency. It also requires repeated training to pull up, pull down, and stretch the syrup. Li says he often gets asked to paint Chinese zodiac animals, and of course this year, the rabbit has become very popular. He says people can ask for adjustments or even add their own pattern, as sugar painting is always made without a draft. Another reason why it's so difficult. Thank you so much. Look, I have just finished mine. Look at it. Honestly, it's no easy task at all. For you guys, this might be just a candy, but for me, it is a crystal piece of art. Teaching people who know nothing about the art, just like me, is part of his job as an inheritor of intangible cultural heritage. And his lessons are especially popular among young kids. I made a rabbit. I was born in the year of rabbit, and I have once kept a rabbit. I like this animal so much. Making sugar painting is so much fun. I like it so much. Children like sugar painting because it's cute and delicious. Believe it or not, some even came and asked me to make one for their little friends abroad. I take it as an opportunity to pass the culture on, and as my responsibility to pass it on. In addition to flat sugar paintings, he's also developing three-dimensional work. He hopes that such kind of folk art can be passed on to and shared with more people. To for more cute and sweet New Year memories. Tao Bing, CGTN, Beijing.